Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are revealing my new winter beater for the season of 2020 and 2021. It's standing right behind me right here and uh, I'm very excited that I have bought this new car and it has three things I really mean are essential if you are going to have a good winter beater and that is a manual car, a rear wheel drive car and it's not, you don't, don't need that last thing, but it has a welded diff and that just makes it so much better. I mean, I had a welded diff in my compact and that was so much fun. So I know that I wanted something kind of the same, but also I wanted something a little bit more comfortable. This has a M52 technical update B28. So that means it has a 2.8 liter straight six engine. And compared to my compact, that's twice the amount of horsepower almost and it doesn't weigh it weighs a little bit more just a hunch more uh, not that much and it's not a 3 series and then all of you you probably know from the thumbnail anyways but you geeky guys know that what kind of car that's left that has the m52 engine 2.8 liter the car i have bought for this season is a bmw e39 528i manual This E39 in particular only have 183 kilometers on the clock and that's not a lot at all. So I will try really hard to not like trash this car around this winter because I think this could be a good car to also have in the summertime. I will already start upgrading it and give it some love because I think that the pre-facelift on E39 does not look like the best. I think that facelifts look a lot better so I want to swap to facelift uh, headlights and maybe an M5 front bumper. I will swap to the taillights to facelift and I will make the car look really good. The interior is not maybe the best color. Some like it, some don't. To be honest, I don't care so much about it. It's all right. This car is, I feel is quite powerful. Even though it's heavy, I think it's weighing around 15 or 16. I think, I think it's 1600 kilos. Nevertheless, it has a welded diff and it got the power. So it's no issue to skid this thing, thing around. I mean, it's really fun. And with that manual, manual transmission as well, you can really yeah, have a lot of fun with it. Greg, come over here. Just gonna get Greg so he can show you how good this is to drift. Come on Greg, get in the driver's seat and you can. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, come on. So as you may see, the car is a little bit lower than stock. That is because it's sitting on coilovers in the front. E39 Touring models do have some bags in the back that are like leveling themselves. So this car has uh, coated the car lower in the back. I don't know how they have done that, but the car is lower. So I don't know how, I don't know how. It did actually come with some coilovers for the rear. So I will probably install those as well to get it even stiffer. It's almost a motif for a whole year. So I don't have to worry about that for a while. It's not looking really good, but I mean, it's a 528, it's a manual, it has a lot of potential. This has 193 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque, and it's so comfortable to drive. I mean, it has cruise control, seat heating, it has a lot of good stuff. And I just like the idea of having a big ass touring just sliding around. I really like that. I mean, you could basically live in here. It's that huge. The, the trunk here is enormous. I mean, you can go camping in this thing. It's so huge. Ah, I like this. 
the interior color it's not the best but i'm okay with it i mean maybe i would swap out or not maybe i will swap out this wooden tr this wooden trim maybe wrap them in like carbon fiber or maybe paint them black i don't know come give me a suggestion what should i do with these e46 steering wheels can fit right here so i am thinking about buying an m sport steering wheel for this because i do not i want the cruise control to still work so i don't know if i will mount like a drift steering wheel in here i don't know and there you see that beautiful manual gear stick. I have already ordered some new parts for it. So next episode will be me upgrading this car. It has some rust underneath. It's not that bad, but I need to address that later as well. And I don't know, maybe some new kidney grills and lights bumper and the tail lights also. I assume that you guys are interested in taking this out for a quick rip. So that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to bring you guys along for a quick drive and you can join me and we can feel how it is to drive around. I mean, if you have not driven an E39 before, I advise you to try because E39s are so comfortable. This one in particular though, it is comfortable, but driving at low speeds, it's not comfortable at all because of the welded diff. That's the only reason. If the diff were not welded, it would be nice. It's actually a first for me having a Touring from the E39 model, so that's kind of cool. And I never owned a 2.8 liter as well. Never have I owned the E36 328 or something like that. So this is a first for me. It's so quiet and it's a really a different experience compared to my E34 Turbo. This is the next generation from E34 and then going to E39. So, I mean, let's imagine going back to 1996 when E39 first launched. It must have been insane to experience this kind of comfort and quality when you were out driving. And I mean, back in 96, this must be, have been the king of the road. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, wheel spin. Yeah, it is pulling quite good. This hair is, is loose right there. The same on that side. It's not perfect, this car, but I mean, it works. Damn, it is kind of powerful. But I need some new wheels on here. It's very low grip, especially in the front. Oh, you damn. He was driving in the middle of the road. Tell me what kind of upgrades you want to see me do to this car. And uh, yeah, I assume you guys have a lot of opinions if this is the right winter beater project for my channel right now. Or I, I assume most of you will probably see, say that, well, don't buy E39, you idiot. You will, should buy something else. But I've seen the comments and a lot of you have been wanting to see an E39 in the channel. So this is for you. Here you go. Here you have an nice example of an e39 528 manual touring i am very excited i hope you are just a little bit excited about this and uh yeah i am really excited to giving you more videos on this car and make it better better and better and to experience more what this is about with that welded diff but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye whoa